Today, I want to talk about a very interesting company. In my opinion, it is a sleeping giant. So stay till the end of this video so that you guys can learn the most about this company. Happy holidays for everyone who celebrate Christmas. Today, the market has closed pretty early. We we did okay, you know, we lost about $400 daytime and after hours we gained around $150. So it was pretty slow. Today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting company. I don't know if you guys paid attention. My buying power has increased a little bit because I was kind of preparing for this stock. In my opinion, this is a sleeping giant. It's been a while since I talked about this company, but right now a lot of good momentum is coming around it. So stay till the end of this video so that you guys can learn the most about this company. I'm sure by now you know what that company is. It is NIO, NEO. I am so excited about this stock as we speak. I haven't bought a lot of shares lately because the price was very unpredictable. The price of NEO is down by 2.6% today. I don't know if you saw this news. China could restrict bank tie-ups with fintech platform, official suggests. That's not related to NEO, but anything bad comes out of China, all Chinese companies get affected. I see that it can affect different stocks. It doesn't have to be in the same niche, but overall it kind of make investors very skeptical. Then they just want to take out their money. If you see NEO in the past one month, it hasn't done that much because it had a lot of momentum in the last one year, especially it has grown by 1,600%. And it is expected for the stock to drop down and create that kind of consolidation. That is good. That is very healthy. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of bad news despite of that. Holding that fork of $39 and $40 is very impressive. I really like that. But now I feel like it's giving us another buying opportunity. The reason I'm saying that is because there is a lot of good things coming around NEO. The first thing that I want to talk about is NEO and Apple partnership. This might be true or not but still a possibility if you see this article apple could partner with chinese automakers neo expand analyst says this actually came on december 24th i don't know this is just something to kind of poise investors mind so that they can jump into neo stock i am skeptical about it but if apple actually get into you know the automaker industry you know they have to partner with some company especially in China, it could be even Tesla. So right here it says that Apple will announce, right here it says that Apple will announce an electric vehicle strategy partnership potentially with Tesla, Volkswagen, and other auto manufacturers in China, such as Neo and Xpeng. This could be possible or not, but at the bottom it is assuring that this has more than 70% chance. I mean, this is a rumor, but at the same time they're kind of giving a very good hop for investors though so they can be able to you know buy into this ev stocks i don't know what's the plan behind it but if neo got partner with apple it's gonna be such an amazing breakthrough for the company you know the price is gonna go to easy hundred dollars because of apple is not a small company and apple usually makes one of the top products in the world but whether it partner with apple or not i believe neo is gonna do really really good Right now, there is good catalyst coming around. The first thing is Neo Day. A lot of good things are expected on Neo Day. It's going to be on January 9th. That's going to be a very good catalyst for the stock price of Neo can jump to all time highs. I have seen Neo stock going crazy when there was some kind of announcement. The first thing would be Neo is expected to launch a mid size sedan, the ET7, which is expected to compete with Tesla Model 3. So that is going to be very interesting. I'm sure Neo is going to be providing different information, not only about the sedan, but other highly anticipated events. The first thing is going to be the battery, the 150 kilowatt battery. A lot of people are expecting that. If this is possible, well, Neo is going to be the top EV company in the world. They most likely going to compete with Tesla because 150 kilowatt hour battery it is actually way ahead of its time if they could be able to achieve that. So why is 150 kilowatt hour a big deal? The first thing is, it's going to enable a range over 900 kilometers. Just imagine charging your car and you could be able to drive it for 900 kilometers. 
that is a big breakthrough. And the other one is we'll create comparison between combustion engine and hybrid cars. Right now, they're doing pretty good combustion engine and hybrid cars. But now, if EV vehicle can achieve that, they can directly compete with these companies. Even though still in the future, people are more optimistic about EV companies, this gonna give them a much, much better competitive advantage. So currently, few things are possible, the 70 and 84 kilowatt hours, and they're expecting the 100 kilowatt hour options to follow this year. And on top of that, achieving the 150 kilowatt hour, that's going to be a ground breaking for NEO. The other thing is it will increase demand. Right now, if they delivered 5,055 vehicles in October with the technology and the battery they have, just imagine what could be possible with 100 kilowatt hour and 150 kilowatt hour batteries. You know, this is going to be a very good news. But one thing I want to say is that just pay attention to NEO like always. Do your own profound research because I am going to be making this type of move. You don't have to do the same thing. At the end of the day, what type of strategy you want to implement is very, very important. If we see the NEO stock price as we speak, right now it is trading at $45.14. If you see NEO stock in the past, it has done such an amazing job. It was bouncing above the 50 days exponential moving average pretty much perfectly, but a kind of breakthrough around this time. This is when Chinese companies were going to be delisted from New York Stock Exchange. And on top of that, NIO was diluting some shares. That actually heavily affected NIO and went all the way to $38 or so. That was a very strong uh, support level for NIO, but it kind of bounced back really quick. And right now, it went back to uh, that uh, 50 days exponential moving average again. But overall, they keep respecting this line that I drew a while back. One thing that I'm expecting is maybe we might see NIO creating that all-time high this, depending on what type of news that's going to come out. But January 9th is something that we all should remember because you know, a lot of people were talking a lot about NEO because of uh, what happened. I believe it gave us a good buying opportunity. If it continued the way everything was, we could have never had the opportunity to get into NEO because it could have been $70, $80. So if you see in the last three, four days, it kind of bounced back that $45, $44, dollars support area, if we make a line here, keeps bouncing above it and bouncing below that $49 resistance. So if a break above that $49 resistance, we might see $52, then moving on to $56, then $57 and creating all-time high. So don't be surprised if you see NEO being $60 or so. But if it broke below it, then we might see another lows like $38, $39. NEO kind of quickly bounced above that $38 despite of having all this negative news. So that is actually shows the stock has built a very strong support around $38, $39. So do not expect this stock can go below $30, $38 unless the company completely get delisted or some extremely um, bad news came around NEO stock. But overall, I am a little bit bullish on the stock for first time in my life. On my public portfolio, I have more than a thousand share, but I bought it when it was trading around $22 or so. But now, this time, it's kind of risky to buy into it because the stock price is $44, $45, but I still believe NEO going at least $60, $70. If you see NEO's market cap right now, it is $71 billion. Compared to Tesla, NEO is way behind because Tesla has about $627 billion. NEO is not even 15% of Tesla. That's why I believe at least NEO can be a $100 billion company provided that they continue doing what they're doing right now. And the other thing is they have been raising money that is pretty good for the company provided that they put it on r &E departments so they can come up with new technologies like the new battery or new type of vehicles, new designs, why not? Provided that they keep growing that way, $100 billion seems to be fair in the long run because right now we can say it's highly overvalued but if we get into that conversation we're going to talk about a lot of other companies so just keep this in mind i just want to brought it into your attention because overall neo is doing really good just having a little bit of break right here should not determine where the company is going to be going in the future so i hope i added value and brought this into your attention thank you guys for subscribing to this channel and watching my videos see you on the next video 
please let me know if you have any questions or concern leave it down in the comment section thank you